You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. Inquisitor Trevelyan. A pleasure, sir. We so rarely have a chance to meet anyone new. It is always the same crowd at these parties. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer. Or are you here for Duc Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. Everything you've heard, completely true. Better and better. The Inquisition should attend more of these parties. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. I saved the city of Redcliffe and brought the mages to order. Saving dog lords and bringing their beasts to heal is hardly an accomplishment. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a man of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lord, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? I think the Marquis has seen the error of his ways. By the grace of Andraste, you have your life, my dear. Do be more careful with it. <laughs> I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne. First Enchanter of Mont-Simard, an Enchantress to the Imperial Court. Charmed, Lady Vivian. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the Chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. But the faithful flock to your banner, pinning their hopes on you to deliver them from chaos. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that.
What a fascinating life you lead, my dear. First you fall out of the fade, then you're attacked by an archdemon. If you wanted more public attention, you could have just held a ball. I'll talk to Josephine. Maybe we can get matching gowns before the next attack. I've got a tailor in Val Royor who can work miracles, my dear. But not those sort of miracles. You left yourself vulnerable to attack. It was a miscalculation, one that I'm sure you won't repeat. But the enemy struck a serious blow against you and the Inquisition. We must recognize that. You must. You're wrong. We now have a better location and far more people at our disposal. This couldn't have worked out better if I'd planned it. Yet we can hardly rely upon the whims of Providence to give us all our victories. This defeat may have turned to our advantage, but it will not last long. Our enemy advances, Inquisitor. We must not sit idly by. Act first and teach them to fear us. You can become the leader the faithful require, but you must do it soon.